Hey, well, let's let's talk a second about Swingers. Uh, what was your first indication that uh, your life was changing after that film? Well, I finally had an agent that was interested in me. I had some opportunities. I had a nice response to my performance, and I finally was allowed in the game in a more serious way than what I ever was before. You know, uh, so those were the first things that led me on that you know maybe something good might come out of this thing finally. Yeah, now this movie, uh, slightly bigger budget than Swingers, uh, was your first indication that uh, they had a little bit more money to spend? Totally. Well, my first indication was when they called lunch the first day and I saw the food. And also just the size of the crew, the sets, the fact that we had permits to film everywhere we were filming and that we weren't going to get in trouble for shooting there. We didn't have the bouncers coming over and threatening to beat us up. Kind of tipped me off after a while. <laughs> You know, when I was a student uh, down here, I snuck onto this lot a couple of times and wandered around. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that about you. You know, great history here. I know you're shooting next to the Psycho House. Yeah, the uh, Psycho House. <laughs> and they didn't think that the Bates were crazy before. When he looks out and says there's dinosaurs, now they really think he's crazy. Now they definitely put him away. He's got no match. He's got the knife. He's got the issues. He got the big lizard. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. Makes him sane. He starts to realize... You know what I mean? Yeah. It helps. Well, how often did you go around just uh, walking around the lot and checking out places? I was never that guy, really, because I don't know. I, I wasn't into going to see the things that I wasn't allowed to play in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like I was never the kid to go to the big country clubs growing up and be like, boy, wouldn't that be great? Because I wasn't allowed in the big country club. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go watch the big country club. I don't know what that means. Maybe I'm a negative person that needs to find someone who's done this before and talk to them about it, but not so much for me the, the tours of the studios. <laughs> hey, now your, your relationship with the robotics operators, uh, did you trust those, those guys completely that you weren't going to get hit by a, a swinging tail or a swinging head? I totally did, because not only are they good at what they do, but they're totally gracious guys, and they were very nice in including me in the process, explaining everything to the point where I probably drove them nuts. But they, you, you definitely, they put you in the know with everything that was happening. Stan and all the guys that work for Stan, you know, were great with all of that. Now you carry a dinosaur in this, a small baby dinosaur. Robot. Yeah, how nervous were you about carrying that piece of machinery? Not so much nervous for the machinery, but just not nervous really, just kind of overwhelmed a little bit because when they start to turn it on and activate it, it comes off so real, you know. It's a strange thing to be up close to those things and have the people moving them with the remote control and the joystick and have it look real. It's very weird. Okay. A question about Steven Spielberg. I know everyone's asking you what it's like to work with him. Uh, was it, when, what was the day that you finally got, out, got over being intimidated by him? Well, I think I've always had an awe and respect for him but not intimidated because he's very good and very gracious with his accomplishments and yeah. with his knowledge. He's sharing with it yeah. and including with it. And the first day I met him, I was terrified in his office. I felt yeah. like I was in the principal's office, you know? But he was so nice and easygoing that after that first meeting, I felt more comfortable with him. Now I'm at a point where I'm a little bored with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know this, it's a good show, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. 